स्टूडेंट्स द डिस्कशन ऑफ एफ एस के इज ऑन गोइंग हम लोगों ने एफ एस के को देखा था कि किस तरह से द बैंड विथ द एक्चुअल एफ एस के हैपन्स एंड हाउ द फ्रीक्वेंसी वेरीज वाइल द एम्पलीट्यूड इन द फेज रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट लेट्स गो टू एन एग्जाम्पल नाउ एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑन अ स्लाइड स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव गॉट एन अवेलेबल बैंड विथ ऑफ हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स वंस अगेन इट स्पैन फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड टू थ्री हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स and we need to find out what should be the carrier frequency and what is the value of n or the bit rate if we modulate our signal by using fsk with d is equal to 1 students same example that we did in the case of ask but in this case we are using fsk and not ask students we know that the bandwidth that we have is equal to in the case of fsk 1 plus d times s plus 2 into delta f students in this case we'll choose our delta f to be 50 kilohertz so the bandwidth which is equal to 100 is equal to the value of d is 1 so it's 2s plus 50 and we know that the value of bandwidth is given it is 100 so 2s plus 50 is equal to 100 and our 2s is equal to 50 kilohertz and from this students s is equal to 25 kilo baud and students we know that the uh, bit rate or the data rate is exactly equal to s because we are using r is equal to 1 so in this case your bit rate is equal to 25 25 kilobits per second as well ab students aap um, kuch dekhenge jaisa humne binary ask ki implementation ko dekha tha we'll go through the implementation of binary fsk as well students in this case what you're looking at is that we have uh, implemented the binary frequency shift scheme by using a voltage controlled oscillator vco students vco once again it generates our carrier signal as you can see here once again we have got a unipolar nrz and we feed this unipolar nrz into our voltage control oscillator up students what happens is the input which is a unipolar nrz signal when it goes into the vco the amplitude of nrz where it is zero the oscillator keeps its original frequency so the oscillator in this particular case it keeps its regular frequency when the amplitude of nrz is zero now the when the amplitude is positive the frequency is increased students carrier signal se compare karte hain aap one ke case mein dekhe आपके जो कैरियर सिग्नल है उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉज टू साइकिल्स पर सेकेंड द फर्स्ट साइकिल एंड देन विच फिनिश इज हेयर एंड देन यू हैव गॉट द सेकेंड साइकिल नाउ बिकॉज दिस इज अ वन द वोल्टेज कंट्रोल ऑजिलेटर द कैरियर वेन इट्स मॉडुलेटेड द मॉडुलेटेड सिग्नल कंटेन्स अ फ्रीक्वेंसी विच इज मच हायर वन साइकिल टू साइकिल्स थ्री साइकिल्स एंड four cycles the frequency is increased or varied in the case of zero we have got two cycles in the carrier signal the modulated signal contains two cycles as well frequency remains unchanged or unvaried for one um, signal element whereas the frequency is increased for the other signal element using a carrier signal that is produced from the voltage control oscillator 